Welcome and thank you for joining me. Um, we have another anti malware test review. This test is going to be different than the normal ones. We are going to see if there is a difference between a local account versus a, um, an account with administrative um, privileges to see if malware can actually spread further and do more damage within an admin account. Okay, and we chose Malwarebytes as the AV of choice. They both updated to the latest version. Just to show you the accounts that we are going to use. So on the left, we're going to use the JITEC2 account, which is a local account. Um, and then we're going to use the normal account, JITEC, which is an administrative account. So we'll be using um, standard versus admin from left to right. Okay, now let's look at Malwarebytes settings. And let's look at the security settings. Okay, so um, all the scan options are enabled. Um, brute force protection is enabled. So this is the advanced settings. And then um, under advanced settings here by exploit, um, everything is enabled. Okay, behavior protection, these ones we can't click on them. So everything's enabled here. Java, the allow insecure we left off. And then pen testing, same for um, our bytes on the right. Uh, all the scan options are enabled. And then advanced brute force, exactly the same. Advanced. Everything here is enabled. Under advanced memory protection, everything here is enabled. Same for behavior. Java, exactly the same. And pen testing. Okay, so the settings are the same. Nice, quick and easy. We're going to just quickly disable the protection so that we can start um, extracting the malware and then start this test. Okay, guys, now that all the malware has been extracted, um, I missed somehow um, a couple of malware on this side uh, but not not to worry I don't think we're even gonna get that far <laughs> um, okay let's start enabling the protection I think while we wait, let's start updating them. Okay, so it seems like there is an update. Okay, this one is actually funny enough, it's up to date. Let's just check it again. So this one is up to date. All the protection is enabled. Okay, while we wait, so let's just show that this machine is clean before we start. Same for this one. Okay, so this one is finally up to date. Close that. Okay, all the modules are enabled. Let's just look at security center. Okay, now it bites. Good. Okay, so now it is time for the first test, which will be the website. Oopsie daisy, um, I forgot that I had no shortcuts <laughs> as I quickly created this um, local account. Okay. Now it is time for the website test. Okay, so let's see what happens. Okay, cool. Malware bytes already giving us pop-ups. Uh, definitely slower on this one. Okay, while well, we wait for this one. We'll look at the results on the left. Uh, 
Okay, so finally it's opening on the right hand side. Okay, so let's just wait for all these pages to load and then we'll look at the results. Okay, so let's start looking at the results. Um, VM on the left. Okay, let's see. Okay, it looks like the majority of them are blocked. Okay, so not bad results by Malwarebytes. Okay, these ones are a bit slower, but they look like they are blocked, because obviously they should be exactly the same. Same product, same links. Okay, let's see if anything downloaded in the meantime. Okay, so I think the results here are going to be the same, because they're obviously the same product, same links. Let's just close that. Edge is using a lot of resources now. Okay, cool. So nothing downloaded. These are all downloads. I'll just get rid of them. Okay, so now it is time for the main test. Um, So just as you guys can see, this one is still a local account. Local account, and then this one is the one with administrative permissions. Okay, so now it is time for the malware test. Okay guys, that's going to take quite some time to run. We've got quite a lot of samples, but maybe the test will be a bit shorter. <laughs> um, then yeah, okay, so let, let me um, deal with this malware and all these pop-ups and then I'll let you guys know. Okay guys, um, I think I'm gonna call it quits for the test now. Um, we trade, or we're basically gaining very, very slow traction. Um, so they didn't really stop at this at the same points. I think on the left a little bit more malware that execute than versus the right, but they both were fairly. Um, I would say maybe a third into the test, and it's just yeah, scripts are being closed. Um, it's just now a little bit tedious to get the malware extracted and executed. Um, Press Explorer on the left is not opening up, so we can see that there is a couple of uh, malware present there, and that's about it. Um, I can't get Task Manager open either, and the um, yeah, so obviously malware bytes on the left seems a bit uh, problematic, and they both have this. Um, display um, I think it's maybe just more scareware because I am as far as I can see there is no ransomware infection as of yet um, so I think it might have been stopped or it's just scareware um, so what I'm gonna do is obviously my bytes here is not working um, I'm going to just restart these machines, um, get them updated, because I also did notice that malware bytes did disappear on the tray icon and a lot of pop-ups for services that failed. So let me quickly restart these machines, um, I'll get them updated and then we'll scan because I think enough malware executed for us to get a more or less a um, idea if there is a difference between the standard and an admin account. So let me get cracking with that and I'll let you guys know. 
Okay guys, so the full scans are complete, so I think it's time to quarantine the threads. Okay, this is obviously going to take some time, I'll show you guys once it's finished. Okay guys, so um, they want to reboot, I accidentally closed this one. So we're just going to restart these machines to quarantine or to finish the quarantine process. And then um, we'll start with the body opinion scans. Okay, and the final results are in. We'll look at malware bytes on the left only. Um, this also explains why um, MSI soft's emergency kit's not opening. So it seems like these two files might have been tampered with. So not that many results. Uh, let's look at um, Norton. Okay, so directly under user profile, another JavaScript. Also, MSI soft has been tampered with. A couple of files under my user profile. Okay. Come out a quick scan. UAC has been disabled. Um, also, um, according to Trent Micro, same for um, Kaspersky. And then there's still one running in the memory. Okay, and then we still have this firewall pop up here. I'm just going to cancel that. Okay, let's see what is still running. Okay, doesn't seem like there's anything still running here. Look at our startup items. Okay, cool. Now startup items, that's good. Let's see if anything actually installed. Okay, doesn't seem like anything installed. Let's look at our files. Okay, documents are good. Uh, pictures are good. Okay, so I think this is the end for this test, guys. Obviously, my bytes on the right is unable to boot up um, and also just to take note that um, not all the malware not all not nearly all the malware executed um, test was just running too slow and i thought the amount of uh, malware that already executed should give us a indication and this is the results so it seems like um, with local account um, which is kind of obvious that we do have better results than with an account of administrative permissions so malware is able to make uh, more damage um, on the left i did get a couple of um, uac pop-ups and obviously i just declined them um, and on the left executed a little bit more malware than on the right so yeah so um not bad um according to the third party opinion scanners not that actually much that's left on the machine so not bad results by malware bytes but as i've pointed out um, not even a third of the malware that um, execute so yeah so I, I i think it's clear that there's obviously a difference um, local accounts are safer um, in theory it does make sense because you do not have all the permissions to go anywhere and have read and write permissions but yeah i hope you guys thought um, this video was informative and as it was for me and i'll get you guys in the next one